I'm going to make a very short video and I'm going to leave a link up and it's only one video it's about the Church of Scientology <coughs> I can thank my mother for raising me the way she did from the ages of 0 to 16 because she never really taught me much about God or Jesus or sin or the Bible she wanted me to find out for myself what I believed on my own and her mother never really talked about sin all that much it was just a uh, we believe in God and that's about it we never defined God as Christ or anyone but this one video <sighs> it sickens me and it's sad because People are looking for something outside of themselves to believe in. And this is a cult. And I'm going to expand on this a little bit. Because you could have any group that can take people looking for something outside of themselves. And any group can... Uh, prey on what they believe may be weak and I understand now I get it and this hurts me it hurts me that a group of people will do this to members of their own church and I have looked into Jehovah's Witnesses and what they do and how they treat their people when they leave the Jehovah's Witness Church which is Kingdom Hall and they totally abandon them and they if you leave Jeho the Ho Jehovah's Witness belief and the Kingdom Hall and everything you have no friends you have to find friends yourself because all your Jehovah's Witness friends are gone they um, shun you and um, I didn't know the Church of Scientology was so bad I had no idea I uh kind of ran into it by mistake looking up something about Riverside County and I read uh, I, I ran into something called Ordinance 884 and I thought what the hell is that it has something to do with Scientology and then so I said well let's go on to look up videos about Scientology on YouTube and this is what I found it's only one video and it's really sad that um people in religions do this but I understand now I get it now why atheists hate religion and religion destroys people's lives it literally destroys people's lives and I understand now doesn't matter what religion you're in it is everywhere uh, there was something on the news about the Mormons just within the last I don't know five years three years it was all over the news the, uh, I've done my own work on the JW's I mean my own you know homework um, there was something about Baptists somewhere I don't know if they were in Haiti or what but every single group religion church belief system it's everywhere and it destroys all in the name of God all in the name of love all in the name of prayer and it's so tainted it's so sickening and I just want to, I hate to say it, but I, I want to get rid of all religions, every single one of them, because religion kills people. It, and, and watching that video of seeing people donate all this money to the Church of Scientology, and if they become an enemy, whatever that means to the Church of Scientology, they will kill you for it, literally that is sick there's no compassion in that there's no compassion in that 
and I understand now, I get it, why atheists hate religion, because they see the damage that religion does. It does not bring people together, and I don't care what people think, I'm going to put Christianity in this too. Christianity divides people. It's us versus them. I go to church, you don't. I'm better than you because I go to church and I know I'm going to heaven because I got a Bible that says so. Well, excuse me that you know everything because you have a Bible. I hope you congratulate yourself and I hope you feel so much better now that you know for sure 100% that you're going to heaven when you die because the Bible tells you so. I have news for you, Christians. The Bible was written by a man. It was translated by a man. Many men translated it. Many men wrote it. And I don't care any way you could. You could say, oh no, they were holy men. I don't care if they were holy men or not. They were still man. And now that I look at it rationally, you look at it rationally, okay? You have to do this. You're going to tell me that there's 50, 60, 70, 80 men over there, and they all heard from God, write this down. Any logical person will say, you're nuts. Now, I don't want to act like I know everything. So I'm putting Christians in this bucket too. Religion separates people. It hurts people. It kills people. Now I get it. I get it now. I totally get it. <laughs> Can you imagine what the world would be like if every person looked inside themselves and didn't need a religion to attach to? Didn't need a group of people to attach to to say, I fit in there, whether it be Muslims, whether it be Buddhism, I don't care what group it is, whether it be whatever group it is, it doesn't matter, it could be a group of people that come together for, I don't know, a book club or something like that. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm expanding it, but I'm starting to see you don't need anything inside. You don't need anything outside of yourself to feel whole or to feel complete. And I haven't seen any division among people of, well, we're the book club and you're not. I haven't seen the us versus them in a book club, but I have seen the us versus them in Christianity. And it is very big. And I just wanted to say to everyone out there that is specifically, okay, atheists, I get it now. I understand your disgust with religion because it separates people. It does not bring people together at all. And Christians, if you're watching this, I have to put Christianity in there. Because I've seen too many Christians say, oh, I go to church on Sunday and I don't work. And I can't work on Sunday because I'm in church. Well, excuse me for trampling on your little Sunday. I guess you're too good to work. I guess your shit don't stink. Right? I've run into too many Christians that act like that. And they act like they know. I'm sorry. I don't know that I'm going to heaven when I die. Why? Because I've never been there. How do I know if I'm going to go there or not just because the Bible tells me so? Please. Please. Man wrote that book. Man wrote it. Now I get it. I get it. But it's hard to get when you're a Christian, when you're brainwashed. It's really hard to get that. You kind of have to go around the corner a couple of five, six, seven times to get it. But once you get it, the light goes off. You're like, oh. Wow, I get it now. And it's amazing once you get it.